Hey, what's up you guys? This is Sentai22 here. What do you think it would have been like if Saban adopted Hurricane? Andros is not a great leader. Super Question Time! Hey, what's up you guys? This is Sentai22 here. How you guys all doing? And welcome to another episode of Super Question Time, where I'll answer your questions. Anything Power Rangers, Super Sentai, Kamen Rider, or any anime related questions, I will answer them for you. So, let's get started now, shall we? The first question comes from Shadow of Pika, and he writes If Saban was to adapt any Togazatsu into a new show, regardless of age limit or licensing legal issues, which would you like to see? Hmm. Um, like I said before, and I'll say it again. I would really want a Kamen Rider Decade adaptation just because of the potential of a very good storyline for all of these other writers in each episode. Now that would be just totally awesome. Um, as well, maybe make him dabble into the, uh, the Tomica Rescue Hero type thing. Maybe they can acquire that, although it might look a little awkward since their cameras are standard definition and I think it would just look really stupid if you know because Savant is using the high def now so I think that would not that would not work unfortunately but yeah I would definitely like to see those two get adapted so okay the next question comes from X-Men and he writes do you think that Saban will ever reintroduce their own original Power Ranger villains in either Super Mega Force or in the later Power Ranger seasons afterwards? Um, for Super Mega Force, no, but I could definitely see an original villain in Power Rangers Spy Force, aka the Go Buster adaptation. I mean, it'd be really interesting to see because, of course, in uh, Go Buster, the main villain is a human somewhat. So it'll be very interesting to see what they will do with the villains in that show just because you know Power Rangers is so good with the villains it's just really really awesome um, but I really doubt they will put like a human villain I think it will put kinda like what they did with Lord Zed um, they might use some of the older costumes from the Disney era just repaint it and ta-da you got the main villain you know what I mean so that will be something that will be very very interesting so so let's hope it happens because we haven't had an original villain since Power Rangers RPM so okay the next question comes from Ty from Israel and he writes do you think we should see more Power Ranger team ups with full teams the last normal team up was in SPD yes we had operation uh, once a Ranger in Operation Overdrive but I'm talking about the current team with the Ranger teams before them and Sentai didn't team up with RPM only with the Red Ranger and I don't think we would see a Samurai or, or Mega Force team up. Um, unfortunately we will not see a full team up with the current team and the past teams anytime soon uh, probably because uh, the current team the Power Rangers Mega Force cast their contracts are set for two years although Quite possibly, the Mega Force team, the Mega Force uh, cast this contract may be a little bit different than the Samurai's contract. So there may be a possibility that Mega Force will probably do the two year. The, the Mega Force cast will probably do the two years, plus the team up uh, at the end of season one of Power Rangers Spy Force or the uh, Go Buster adaptation. So. Who knows? I mean, if they're not doing any team ups, that could be they're probably just gonna do like once every, f just you know, bring back the old cast from Samurai and Mega Force for an anniversary team up, but not you know full team up with the current, with the previous Power Ranger series. So um, after after Super Mega Force ends, so let's just see. And I hope, you know, so. Okay, the next question comes from Brandon Smith, and he writes, 
Will the Power Rangers ever go back in Universal Studios of Orlando? Please let me know. Can Power Rangers be be Super Sentai? How can it be different? Are you asking two questions, Brandon, or one? Because I'm confused here. <laughs> okay, I'll just answer them both, I guess. Um, uh, I really doubt that, because I think Saban's strategy now is just doing promotional events in different parts of the country like for example like they're doing with the thank uh, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade um, as well as um, other uh, other public events I, I really doubt they're not going back to Universal Studios after what happened in 1994 90, probably remember that well it's not gonna be as big but I really doubt that they'll go back to Universal and your second question is they're very different just because they use the monster costumes and the uh, ranger suits from the sentai series doesn't mean they're all the same they're very different in their own way although on occasion they're pretty much identical because of of taking the source material story aka samurai so yeah they're totally different and on some occasion they're di they're pretty much the same Okay, the last question comes from Web Surfer Blue, and he writes, "Do you think the Pokemon that ha the Ash is in it needs to die because the fans say they should have stuck to having Pokemon the original way? Are you talking about the uh, the original po Pokemon series? Uh, from what I've heard, the creator in Japan was told to keep Ash 10." 10 years old forever. Anyway, i like to hear your opinions. Um, first off, that's not true. You mean Sa Satoshi, the creator of Pokemon? No, I don't believe so. Um, Ash is basically a homage to the Japanese creator. That's his, his Japanese, Ash's Japanese name in Japan, Shiro, uh, Satoshi. Uh, you know, he, that was, he's basically the icon of the anime show. And having him having Ash leave will probably uh, devastate a lot of the uh, pretty much long fans who have been watching the anime series and I do have to admit you know the show hasn't been been great since pretty much advanced generation in my opinion so from what I've heard when Misty left it was a total it was everybody was devastated about it but eventually uh, they moved as well Brock moved on and besides, you know, Team Rocket is still there. I don't care if he stays 10 forever. The only thing I really want him to do with the character is just improve on him. Make him a little bit more mature. And judging by the Pokemon X and Y anime series, it's a pretty good improvement on the last few generations. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely probably the best Pokemon anime episodes that I've seen in a long time you know seeing Ash's uh, childhood was really interesting to see that uh, he had a friend uh, prior to you know going on his long journey uh, from the from the original series so that's pretty interesting so anyway guys uh, that's about it if you guys have any questions please post them on the comment section if you guys would if you guys want to follow me on my YouTube or Facebook, please as well subscribe to those as well. It's in the description below. So this is Sentai22 and uh, thanks for watching.